Okay, 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 I get it. You want to know how to make a square movie file. Now, this is something I've talked about and you've heard other social media gurus, if you will, talk about this as well. You need to be publishing a square or vertical video on Facebook to get the most traction from that video because most of the people looking at your stuff on Facebook are looking on a mobile device and square and vertical take up the most screen real estate. So you're getting the most bang for your buck when you do a video that way. But software like iMovie is only really built to do a horizontal video. So I'm telling you today how to hack the system and get a square video with iMovie. You're welcome. Hello and welcome back to Two Minute Tip Tuesday. Every single Tuesday I bring you a two minute tip to help you with your YouTube channel. And today, this one has been super requested. So if you're an iMovie user and you just can't figure out the whole square video thing, so you can publish on Instagram or Facebook, I've got your answer. Now, full disclosure, you actually cannot edit a square video in iMovie. But what you can do is edit a movie like normal and then pull it into a software like Keynote to make it a square. Keynote or PowerPoint, either one will work. I get accused all the time of only giving Mac advice, but this is the exact same way you'll do it if you're using a PC, depending on your editing software. So if you're using something like Filmora or Movie Maker on a PC, do the same thing I'm showing you with iMovie and Keynote and do it with Filmora or Movie Maker and PowerPoint. So no worries, if you're a PC user, I've got you covered too. Okay, so let's just jump into the tutorial because my two minute timer is about to start. You wanna start off and go ahead and edit your video in iMovie just like normal. So you want to edit it and have it just completely the way you want it. Now, a couple of things to note. If you want to make this movie into an exact square, you don't want any space in the top or the bottom, then you'll want to envision that there is about an inch of blank space while you're editing in iMovie so that you're not cutting off anything like text. So for instance, if I go to this part of this movie, this my really cool thing would get cut off when I make this into a square. Now you don't have to worry about that, that however, if you have the idea to allow the video to still be horizontal, but have a colored background like you've seen. I do these quite a bit for Facebook. You'll have a colored background. The video is still horizontal, but the but it exports into a square movie. So if you're doing that, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you're exporting and you want it for something like Instagram and you want the entire square frame to be taken up by your video, just envision that there's an, about an inch on either side here that won't be shown. So once you're done editing, just export like normal, but then you want to open up Keynote. So once you open Keynote, you'll want to do a new document. And I always do just the white one because it's just the easiest for this. So from here, basically you'll want to drag your movie over into this screen. So I, you can just literally just drag it. Okay, from here, once you have everything dragged over, you'll notice it's still not a square. So what we wanna do is go up here to document and right here to slide size, we want to do custom slide size. And you can do 1024 by 1024 or you can do you know a bigger aspect ratio, whatever you wanna do. So now it's showing me that I have a full square here with my video in the middle. So that means if I'm wanting to create one of those videos where I have titles and text up here, say what the video is about, I would just you know edit this like a normal keynote presentation, add text, um, my video here. I generally leave this bottom part blank because I want captions to play if I'm sharing it to Facebook. But then you can absolutely change the background of this. You would just add the formatting option to the background and pick a color. So let's say we want it to be blue or green or whatever. We can totally pick any color we want it to be. That's really it. That's if you want it to have this look. Now, if you want it to be completely filled the whole square with your video, you'll just drag your video 
until it covers everything. And this is what I was meaning by the fact that if you do that, that it you'll it'll be cropping on either side. So you'll have wanted to, you know, made sure you were paying attention to that in iMovie. Also, you'll notice it's a little blurry. Uh, that's because it just wasn't built to be zoomed in on. So you might find issues there unless you're filming in a super high quality. Now from there, all you want to do is file, export, and export to QuickTime. You will just leave it self-playing and you can kind of leave everything the same. You'll probably want to up the quality the best you possibly can and hit next. It will export wherever you choose for it to export. And when you open it in QuickTime or in any type of preview program, that's what you'll have is a square video. Now, once I exported it, this is it on my desktop. So if I open it with QuickTime or any kind of previewing system, I have exactly what I had in Keynote, which is a video that's a square, which is awesome. So there's your fun little hack for the day. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Now you, even on a budget, even without Premiere software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, you can make a square movie that will be seen better on Facebook, that will be awesome on Instagram. You can do it, you now have the tools. So to make sure you don't miss any other Two Minute Tip Tuesdays or any of the other awesome video marketing content I have on this channel for you, make sure you hit subscribe because I publish content three times a week for you to dive into and make your business and your video marketing strategy better. And until next time, bye y'all.